Die drukgroep Equal Education het gisteren de Fixal Schools uitstelling in die centrale Methodiste Sendingkerk in die Kaapse Middenstad bekendgesteld. Die uitstelling bevat die verklarings van 24 scholen oor die slechte toestand van hulle infrastructuur en illustreer ook om Equal Education die Nationale Onderwijsminister Angie Motsjeke in november of toeval. 93% of schools do not have functioning libraries, 90% of schools do not have stopped computer centers and 95% of schools do not have stacked science laboratories. Now what is the, the human cost, what is the human experience of learners, parents and teachers who have to go to schools or send their children to schools like this every day? There are tens of thousands of school children who are not getting the education that they should be getting. Illiteracy is rife. Innumeracy is rife. The statistics compared with the rest of Africa, to say nothing of other parts of the world, should make us hang our heads in shame. The exhibition really gives the public an opportunity to have a look into the reality that most schools face on a day-to-day -day basis. Our founding affidavit was 582 pages long, and that had affidavits from 24 schools that explained the poor infrastructure situation that they were facing. So this exhibition really breaks it down and makes it very accessible for the public and for learners to understand why we've been campaigning for two years and why we took the decision to go to court on the issue. So the court case which will be, uh, which will start on the 20th of November this year at the Bishop High Court in the Eastern Cape is, is, is based on the premise that every school across the country should have a basic level of infrastructure, irrespective of whether you live in a rural part of the Eastern Cape or you live in City Hall in Cape Town. So over the years, Equal Education has picketed, we've fasted, we've slept out our parliament, tens of thousands of people have marched, but today we're launching a new, a new creative form of protest and that's our virtual picket. Uh, and part of the exhibition gives people an opportunity to have their picture taken with a placard which they write themselves and that then gets uploaded to our website. What we would like eventually is for people from all over South Africa to take their own pictures either with their phones, their webcams, with their cameras, email them to us and then we will, we will put them on the online picket line. People will be able to have their voice and their message up 24 hours a day and will be accessible from anywhere in the country.